Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Cypress Norf, and welcome back to another episode of LEGO Arts. So, in the last episode, we did a showcase on the LEGO Kong figure in celebration of Godzilla vs. Kong. So, for this episode, we are finally back to a project that I've pushed off for a while, but are finally done with it. And that is, and that is the remake minifigure for Miles Morales from Spider-Man Miles Morales. Alice. Un and honestly, like, one of the best games that I've ever played. Ever played. I recently finished it on the channel, on the channel... And afterwards, I immediately wanted to get back to remaking this figure, making this figure that, for those of you who don't know, I made, I made a few Miles Morales minifigures before in the past. My first one was based off of the Into the Spider-Verse, but then I changed that one to match up with the PS5 version. But that one, it wasn't perfect, that there were a couple of flaws with it. And originally, it was just going to be like I would change up the torso. But the more I looked at it, the more I thought that, like, I could give this a whole new, a whole new look to it. Led to it, really change it up a bit, really give him a whole new design and everything, everything. So after a little while of going back and forth to how to proceed through it, I finally, finally got a solid idea, an idea, and I recently finished up this guy, this guy, and figured to go ahead and record the showcase for you guys, hey guys. And this turned out fantastic. I really love how he looks. He looks it was so much better than the and then the past couple of versions that I did. And yeah, overall, I'm really excited to finally showcase the showcase this figure to you guys. So as you guys do. So, as you guys know, the whole drill, we're going to take this figure, do a review of it, explain my process, why we put this route, and then go from there. So, without further ado, let's get the pedestal out, and get the showcase on the road. So, looking at this figure, there's definitely a difference between this one and the previous famous version that I made. Which, I've, which I have a video to that one in the description below, so you can check out, sort of, like, the comparisons between then and now. But, when looking at this figure, and this figure, as I said before, I originally just wanted to change the torso, because the biggest issue that I had with it was the spider symbols. Symbols. Like, they were too large, and I did not like them like them at all. So originally, I was just gonna, like, just do the spiders, and just do the torsos, and the rest would have been fine. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought that, like, maybe I could really change it up a bit, give it a whole new look. So what I did was, I completely took that the figure apart and gave it a brand new paint job, paint job entirely, except for the lenses. The lenses I kept intact and just did, like, slim, a slight detailing, detailing to those afterwards, after, like, the grand repainting, repainting process. But anyways, when looking at the whole symbol, I basically had to like, had to like do a couple of like Photoshop stuff, shop stuff with this, such as like putting on the spider on the front, and also especially the spider on the back. Like I couldn't find a spider logo that looked exactly like this, and like this like just by itself. So what I did was I took a picture of, picture of the spider, of this suit from the game, and the game did some cropping, cropping on to focus on just the symbol, then like painted up. Paint it up and draw cast, and then photoshopped it onto the back of the decal, decal to match up for the rest of the suit, and the suit, which, and which it probably is a little big, but it does match up, match up pretty well with like the representation from Miles's costume. Now looking at the rest of the figure, the figure like you could see a little bit of detailing on the arms. As you can tell, there is no arm decal on that. I completely scrapped that because I thought that like eh, it was a bit ridiculous to put it on at the time. So I'm gonna change it up a bit. And instead, what I did was I just did some paint work. And work that you can see like the black detailing and like, detailing for like the arm gauntlets and that he has as and same thing with like the belts and also the knee pads knee pads and you can kind of see that like okay if we move the arm a bit there's some much yeah there's still like good articulation with like the arms so he can like do like the poses and same thing with the legs and then with the legs like as you can see you can see like the gap on the waist piece this piece there's articulation on his legs so that way that the paint doesn't chip off above and it matches up pretty well pretty well but anyways anyways like looking over here you can see like the detailing of the knee pads continue on to the back on your back all the way around around i did try to line it up and uh, line it up with both of them other than as best i could as i could it's obviously not perfect but it does match up pretty well and same thing with like a little red detailing on you know, on the back heel on his boots and his boots a little red detailing and something on the front you know, on the front here now, uh, going back to the arms, you can see that, like, I did a little webbing detailing, detailing, like, on the fingertips. I didn't go full on with it because, because it's such a small area and there's very little room to work with. And you can kind of see that on the side, I did a little detailing to sort of, like, keep up with the belt, and the belt to match up, match up all the way on the back, <laughs> all the way on the back. Miraculously, it doesn't chip off, and chip off. I think what sort of helped with it was that I sanded off the sides a bit, and same thing with the insides of the arms, and the arms to, like, help it out a little bit. A little bit, but I actually had to replace a couple of parts because I accidentally sanded too much off, much off to the point that I couldn't even use it anymore, anymore. So I had to replace one of the arms to give it a brand new one, new one. But it still matches up pretty well. 
Now going on to the rest of the figure, we can see like the head, like a head. So lower him down a bit. We can see a completely brand new webbing having on the head. And this is probably like one of the best webbing details that I've ever done because, and because as unlike the previous Spider-Man that I did, and uh, whether, and I definitely have come up with like a new, and with like new ways to do the webbing. So like the first way, it was just like taking a small paintbrush and just painting, painting the webbing on, I mean, on, I never liked that technique because it was too, and because the webbing always came out too big, so I would always scrap it. Then I switched it to gel pen, and it was okay, but I had to apply on, like, on, like, clear spray paint afterwards, in other words, or a sealant of some kind, so that way, you know, so that way, that way the pen doesn't, like, smudge off, smudge off. And then I did the markers, and the markers were okay. The markers were okay, that the marker detailing on this was all right, but the two different reds, it kind of made it, like, stand out too much. And I'm too much, and I didn't like it. I wanted, I wanted basically all of it to blend in perfectly together, perfectly together. So what I did for this webbing instead was I took a push pin, push pin, and just carefully did the webbing and the webbing all around the head, and the head like as best I could, as I could, like uh, keep like making sure that the webbing and that the webbing was lining up, lining up pretty well, and not overlapping with one another. It was super tedious, especially when I had to do like the torso and make it. I get sure that like it would all match up pretty well, match up pretty well, and then, well without uh, damaging too much of it, much of it, much of it. <laughs> but in the end, it does like make it stand out better. It makes it look much, 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 much cleaner, a bit better, and better. And I definitely like how it looks all together, all together. That's better. That I did this technique, technique. Same thing with like my Batman Beyond remake minifigure, and I might continue on doing sort of like this technique because because uh, with the printing. Even though when it comes out okay, and okay, it still has like that faded look to it, and I've never enjoyed it. So when doing like this technique, it definitely like makes it stand out more, and definitely matches up with sort of like the vision, and with like the vision I intend to make, I intend to make. So, and to make so, and so it definitely, it definitely looks so much better, much better like how it how it was supposed to look digitally than how it came out and printing wise, anyway. So it came out pretty good. I probably could have changed up the lens a little bit, like, you could kind of see that it's, eh, it's not exactly perfect, but I don't know, I don't know, like, how much more I could do to, like, try and match them up, match them up even more. Like, lenses are kind of, like, Spider-Man lenses are still kind of a working process, process for me, but with the webbing, again, the webbing, how this came out, it's really, really, really amazing, and I really like it, I like it, and the figure in general, I really, I'm really glad that I pushed it off. I should offer this long on remaking Miles because I probably would have done it something different had I done it earlier, like right after the game came out. Came out. I'm really glad that I pushed it off a bit, off a bit, so that way I could like come up with new ideas, a new way to like make this figure. And in the end, in the end, I'm really proud of like how this looks, and it's probably like one of my favorite Spider-Man minifigures that I've done. I've done like second to the black suit Spider-Man, 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 because. Just the way how he came out, I'm a broken record. Just the way how he came out is really, is really, really awesome, and I really, and I really love how he looks. All right, there we go. That is pretty much gonna do it for this episode of Lego Arts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, or this video, and as I keep saying before, I'm really, really proud of like how this minifigure came out. That figure came out, like the detailing that I really put into this guy with the new idea, new ideas instead of like the old ones. I really, really love how he, how he looks now, and I hope to do more of it. I uh, hope to do like more minute figures like this in the future, in the future, because it's really fun of trying like new ideas and new ways to approach of characters like these, characters like these in Lego formats, formats. And overall, yeah, and yeah, this minute figure turned out really, really awesome, and I'm really proud of like how the remake really looks. And it looks that again, this was just so much fun to make, so much fun to make, and I can't wait to do more minute figures like this in the future. So speaking on minute figures for the future. Future. I know we keep mentioning with stuff like this that keep mentioning projects such as like Umbrella Academy, Academy or Ruby Volume Eight, Volume Eight, and a lot of other ideas that I've mentioned in the past. I keep pushing them off because of like two reasons. For starters, for starters like lately my dick, uh, like uh, real life work has become uh, has become like a bit more demanding. So like I've been like doing like some more work and stuff, but I have to do that work so that way that like. And that way, like, I could come up with, like, new ideas, new projects for you guys, and guys in the future. And that way, I'll be able to make, and to make, like, more stuff like that. That's, and also, it has to do with, like, like, not really more of interest, but more of, like, inspiration, really. Inspiration, really. Because I'm coming up, because to come up with, like, ideas, ideas, I really need to figure out, like, how exactly to approach them. And approach them. Luckily, though, luckily, though, with, like, some recent, recent, like, new inspiration that's been coming in. 
I mean, it has given me ideas on how to approach characters like these. So I do hope to like do Umbrella Academy 2, the 2 will be volume 8, volume 8, and a whole lot of other project ideas that I have and that I have in works. I really hope to finally really get around to them and bring them uh, and bring them to life and them to life for you guys. You guys. And so that's pretty much gonna be doing it for with like Lego Arts. Like I do promise that Umbrella Academy 2 and Ruby Volume 8, they're not abandoned. Uh, they're not abandoned, but they are taking time and time to actually get to work on work on. But I do promise that I and that I do promise that I will get them. I'll get them done as fast as possible. And when they're ready on the channel on the channel, I'll record uh, I'll record the showcases for you. Are you? And same thing with like with one division, on a vision that I do plan to do. I do finally plan to do a Scarlet Witch minifigure, eh, or like Witch minifigure, a figure. But I kept jumping back and forth of how to approach it. But recently, recently I have got an idea of how of how I want to do it. But I have to wait for a while because it requires one specific part, one specific part that I need to get into it. But once I get that part and that part, uh, I'll put together the minifigure and I'll definitely record the showcase to you guys. Now going on with Let's Plays. And let's play is that again. I recently finished Spider-Man Miles Morales, so if you want to check out that series out, there's a and there's a link to the playlist in the description below. And I've recently been doing like more Devil May Cry three, Devil May Cry three that I've been recording videos on that. Which side note on both Miles Morales and Devil May Cry three, I am so sorry with how the videos have been looking lately. That I didn't realize that what's been happening, everything that so one of the video editing apps that I've been using for specific videos. I didn't realize that all of those would upload in 480. Like, they were recorded in, in 1080p, but apparently the app that I've been using has been uploading all of them to 480. And I did not realize this until I have until I went back and reviewed the video. So, I'm so sorry with how all of those look. Uh, how all of those look. Uh, all those look. It's like, I've completely uninstalled the app. All the app uh, after that, and I will never use it again. Use again, but for future reference, I will do better. I'll do better with, like, more software stuff. And stuff for that in the future, future, which that's been kind of a difficult thing on my channel recently because, mainly because since I've been having to record in a brand new software, a new software, I have to use a completely new software for like the editing, editing, editing portion of it, version of it. So it's been a lot longer of a process to really put it together, and I won't lie, but kind of a pain in the ass, and he asks, and he has to figure it out, figure it out. But I am getting better. I will do better and do better for you guys in the future. Yeah better for you guys in the future and overall that's gonna pretty much be it that's for yet so again the uh, the playlist to miles morales will be in the description below as well as the previous previous version of this minifigure in the description below and below a link to that and that's if you want to check out some of my other projects projects like devil may cry godzilla 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 benini ink machine the machine kingdom hearts drip and the drip become human and all of those other other showcase ideas you can check them all out in my lego arts playlist lego arts playlist and uh, playlist and same thing with my gameplay videos. Uh, videos you can check them out it's all on the channel. Uh, channel. And overall, that's gonna pretty much do it. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. If it helps us, we can let's play like a project. Our manly channel is fun. So anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, come up with what you think, share with your friends, subscribe to YouTube, follow me on Twitch. And here's the with the road. Ow! Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. What do you guys moon rises? Oh.